J. Jonah Jameson of the DailyBugle.net reporting to you from MegaCon Orlando. It is always a good time every time here at MegaCon. Follow me, let's go inside. I am here at MegaCon Orlando 2022 with this menace dressed as Spider-Man. Spider-Man, do tell the audience how you enjoy MegaCon. I love it. He loves it. What do you love most about MegaCon Orlando? Um, seeing all the cosplayers. And what have been some of your favorite cosplays you've seen so far in the past 30 minutes since this convention opened? I saw someone as the Mandalorian, actually. The Mandalorian? Yes. Disney folks stay together. What do you like best about MegaCon Orlando? People have been really nice. I've been digging the outfits. I mean, it's just day one. We're only two hours in, but we're already having a lot of fun. Over to my right, we have the Spider Menace. And to my left, one of the greatest heroes of our time, the Green Goblin, Spider-Man. What is your favorite part about MegaCon so far? This con's been awesome so far. Everybody's brought the game. It's insane. It's crazy. Green Goblin, what is your favorite part about MegaCon Orlando so far? Uh, I have to say all the different people that are walking around that I can destroy. And who have been your favorite characters that you have seen so far at this great convention, those MegaCon? You, of course. Oh, she knows the right words to say. You are going to be a featured guest on the dailybugle.net in the future. Join with me are Batgirl and Riddler from the Batman movie from this year. Now tell me, Batgirl, what do you like so far about MegaCon Orlando 2022? Well, I really like all the cosplayers and I really like all the art arounds. I love the different artists. It's pretty cool. What have been some of your favorite art pieces so far? I like the cat artists. They make like different uh, uh, fandoms into like cats, so they have different like superhero cats and stuff pretty cool. Cats are pretty cool, as long as it's not spiders. If you have to summarize Megacon in one word, what would it be? Batman. Batman. Megacon equals Batman. There you have it, straight from the mouth of the Batman. If you had to describe MegaCon in just one word, what would that word be? Amazing. Amazing, just like the Spider-Man. Thank you, Spidey, and thank you, MegaCon. If you had to summarize MegaCon in one word, what would it be? Oh my goodness, big. This is my first one, so it's very large. MegaCon has it all. Celebrities, fan meetups, artists, everything that you can expect as a consumer of pop culture. If you have not checked it out already, come to MegaCon, meet your favorite actors, voice actors, wrestlers, cosplayers, artists, other big names in the industry. You will not be disappointed at all. And while you're at it, attend these awesome cosplay meetups every fandom you can think of. Star Wars, Marvel, DC, you name it. See you at MegaCon and thank you to the organizers from Fan Expo for this great convention. It is one of my personal favorites. This is J. Jonah Jameson of the DailyBugle.net. This is J. Jonah Jameson of the DailyBugle.net reporting to you about MegaCon 2022. I personally had not attended MegaCon Orlando since before the pandemic. My last MegaCon Orlando prior to now was 2019. 
I loved seeing all the great cosplayers once again, being able to network with like-minded people. It had been way too long. Also, some great character meetups, including the Spider-Verse meetup, even though all of them are spider menaces. So much great artwork, such talented artists all across Artist Alley. And then great guests like The Hobbit, for instance, and Brendan Fraser, yes. Some excellent programming as well. One of my favorite areas was Tatooine from Star Wars. I actually felt like I was walking on the set from the original trilogy. Some of the coolest elements of Megacon Orlando were the cosplay contests, gaming tournaments, and themed meetups. And I am not biased at all when I say I love themed meetups and the YouTube channels that cover them. While it was a positive experience returning to Megacon, there were some negatives about Megacon, such as parking or lack thereof. The parking was so horrendous on Saturday that people chose not to go to Megacon, but instead they went to Universal City Walk. The halls were overcrowded. There were reports of people passing out from waiting in lines all day. And also due to the overselling of tickets, it became a COVID spreader. And do not get me started on the pass pickup section. Oh, it was way out of the way. On the east side of the north-south concourse. So people had to walk an extra 20 minutes to get to those doors. Megacon organizers changed things on the spot, moving different attractions across the convention center with little to no warning, which is typical because I experienced this firsthand when I had a booth at Megacon 2019. Others have experienced that same kind of disorganization, those last minute changes from Megacon this year. And the communication just isn't there among their staff. Those last minute changes do not get communicated to the staff, so people ask them, where is this attraction? And then they get eight different answers. There needs to be standardized communication across the staff. Also, Megacon Orlando heavily restricted photographers saying that they could not bring their equipment onto the floor and do their photo shoots. That is outrageous, ridiculous, and as a member of the press, I am personally offended by that. There wasn't even a policy regarding those changes or restrictions that were enforced. You guys really did the photographers wrong, and some of them are personal friends of mine. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Good thing I didn't send Parker to the convention. That would have been disastrous. As a journalist, my top priority is reporting the truth, including any critical elements. So Megacon may not like it, but I owe it to the people to let them know each of the negative aspects of the convention in hopes that the organizers see this and take steps to improve the convention. The organizers from Fan Expo need to take a hard look at these opportunities to fix the convention for future years. This is your chance to make things right, to make things better for attendees moving forward. Subscribe for more comedy videos. Now it's time for you, the audience, to comment and vote. What new video should we do? Do you wanna see Venom looks for Spider-Man, public prank. Spider-Man trolls people public prank. Spider-Man and Batman go on patrol together, public prank. Or Spider-Man, dead Uncle Ben prank in public. Comment and cast your vote. Thank you for watching Megacon Orlando covered by me, J. Jonah Jameson. Now it is time to shout out some subscribers. Mr. Obamacare 420, Heavy Metal Movie 1981, and Ken Lowe. Thank you for your support. Subscribe to Make a Laugh Films. Enable all push notifications. Share the video and comment your favorite parts, and you may be eligible for a shout out in one of the next videos.